Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is our video of Photoshop Element 6 tutorial to try to teach you how to get more out of Photoshop Element 6 than just cataloging your pictures and doing some basic cropping. Um, Photoshop Element 6 allows us to do a lot of different artwork with our pictures and it can be a lot of fun and it can also make a picture very interesting. Today we're going to talk about how to do black and white art. That's what I like to call it because we're going to give a black and white picture some artistic value um, to make it more interesting or make it a uh, basically a, uh, a communication piece or, or a piece that we're going to actually uh, talk to folks about. So to get started, we're going to open up my wedding pictures that we worked with before. And on here, I'm going to use these flowers because there's a lot of color in there I can work with and make it very interesting looking. So I right click on it and we're going to go into full edit. Now, remember the first thing to do in the full edit is click on view and go to fit to screen. That will open the picture up a little bit so we can see what's going on. And then always make a background copy or copy the background layer that we can work with. And if you forget this, it's okay if you forget it, but this is just a safety feature to make sure that we never ruin the original picture. So let's go ahead and close the original background and we'll work with the copy. Now folks, with this we can make a very easy black and white picture. We just simply go under Enhance and go down to Convert to Black and White. And as you'll see here, here's a black and white. It's kind of flat, kind of dull looking, still interesting because you, you've, you've taken the original color photo and you made it an, a more old time looking black and white. But we don't want to do that. We want to go one step further. What we want to work with is we're going to work with taking the red and maintaining the red while turning everything else around the red into black and white. Now to do this you'll see a very interesting picture come out of this. So let's go over here and click on the quick selection tool. Make sure up here that the plus is selected or you can just click, click on here and this will start you out. This is a new selection. Make sure your brush size is, is set up. Uh, I like to start with you know 100, 110 brush size. And then just start begin clicking on the red. Pick an edge. And just start selecting the red. And you can see that Photoshop Element 6 is sampling the red and it's trying to find the edges for you the best that it can. It does a pretty good job. And as we go down here, we're just going to keep selecting the red. And see how it picks out the red. We're going to select down here. And we'll pull this red out also just to kind of make it look nice and then here now look down at the bottom how it's selected too much we got too much of this down here we want to stay on these edges with the red to do that go up here and see where it says subtract from selection click on that and then you go down here and just select next to your uh, roses or next to whatever your color you're working with and what it's going to do, it's going to sample it out. And you see it's starting to pull it back. And we click here. Click here. You can see now it's starting to sample it up there pretty tight. And that's pretty good now. It's selected in there. So that's the red selected. Now let's go ahead and click on plus. This will add to the selection. Let's pick up this little red rose down here. We're going to get a little bit more of that one. And then we'll go over here to this one in the background just to give it a little depth. And what I mean by depth is when you look at this picture, you're going to pick out things in the background. And we'll just give it a little bit more depth. Click on the subtract. Now to work with a tighter area, what you want to do is lower your brush size down. Lower the diameter down a little bit. There we go. Now, we go up here. We can actually lower this down, and that way it allows us to work with a little bit tighter spaces. 
to get what we don't want in there. Like this little bit of green right there, we'll take that out. Now, as you can see here, what we have selected is red, red, and red. Now, the easiest way I've found to do this, we could have went and we could have selected the whole background. But it's easier for me to pick out with the um, quick selection tool what I want to have saved as color. And then I can invert my selection and then work with what I have inverted. Now watch, go to Select, Inverse. Now, as you can see, we're working with everything outside, everything outside of the red. Now, this is very simple to do at this point. Go to Enhance, Convert to Black and White. And let's see what we have this time. Now, look how the red is maintained as color. There's a little green in there to give it a little depth. But now as we look back to the picture, this way we see there's red in the background. So it kind of fell together perfectly. Now you can enhance that red with the adjustment for the intensity. We can turn the red up. You can see how dark it'll get. See how it got too dark there? It doesn't look real. Turn it down a little bit. Now the red looks pretty uh, vibrant. And what I would play with next is the contrast. Turn the contrast down a little bit and see how it looks like when you darken the background just a little bit. See, I kind of faded the background down just a little bit more. Now, at that point, the only thing left to do is go ahead and click OK. And at that point now, it's actually converting our image to the image that we want it to look like. Now, to see the full image, go under Select and go to Deselect. And now you can see we have a really nice, artistic looking black and white picture with the red very much highlighted in this picture. This right here, that's the original. That's what we had. But now if we turn on that layer there, we turn this one back off, you can see that now we have a black and white picture with the red. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on my uh, black and white art. Um, you can use this anywhere you want. Anywhere there's color, just remember, select the color first, then do a select inverse, so that way you're working with the background, and then go to enhance and just change it to black and white. And um, if you have any questions about this tutorial, please email me at jackstechcorner at gmail.com. Sign up for the forums on my website, jackstechcorner.com. Click on the forums, and you can actually post uh, discussions in the discussion groups for Photoshop Element 6, as far as a lot of other different topics. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please, if you're not already subscribed to the videos, please subscribe to the YouTube uh, video site and post comments on the videos. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you back here soon. Take care, and keep Photoshopping. Bye for now.